Let's examine the Cisco IOS command modes. I'll click on PC1, click on the Terminal Emulation Program, click OK, and you can see that I'm presented with a console command line interface. This is the Cisco IOS. I'll press Enter on my keyboard to get started. Notice the command prompt at the bottom left of the screen, which indicates the command mode that I'm in. The Cisco IOS uses different command modes to establish various privilege levels for users. Different commands are available in each mode. For instance, the word switch, which is the default name of the switch, with the greater than sign indicates that I'm in user exec mode. User exec mode has very little privileges with access to only a limited number of commands. One of those commands available in this mode is the enable command. At the blinking cursor, I'll type the command enable and press enter, and I'm now in privileged exec mode. I can tell this because the prompt has changed from a greater than sign to a hash or a pound sign. Privileged exec mode offers a higher privilege level for the user and more commands are available. If I would like to go to a higher level, I can go into Global Configuration Mode, or Global Config Mode for short. I can reach Global Config Mode by typing in Configure Terminal and pressing Enter. And now you can see the Global Configuration prompt. This is where most configurations of a switch or a router take place. There are also sub-configuration modes, like Interface Configuration Mode. If I type Interface VLAN 1 and press Enter, I'm presented with a prompt that indicates I am now in Interface Configuration Mode. Many commands will only work from within certain modes. A common mistake made by users new to working with the Cisco IOS is trying to use commands from within the wrong mode. If you are sure that you are typing a command correctly, but you are continually getting an error message, always check your prompt to make sure you are in the right mode.